What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to a whole nother video. As you can see, my voice is kind of raspy and I'm kind of ashy. But anyway, man, we're working on this Boosted Tahoe. Today's goal is uh, to get this cold side right here done. As you can see, I kind of have it mocked up. I want to get the cold side done. Now, I also want to mount this bracket here. I'm going to cut up a piece right now, paint it up, and make sure this thing is nice and secure. It ain't going nowhere. But we just need to get that bottom side uh, firm. And uh, I'm going to go to the auto parts store and get a uh, oil pan gasket. And we had got our um, no weld uh, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, bong. And I'm ready to put that on the oil pan. So once we get the gasket that drilled in and buttoned up, then I can put this uh, pan back on. And then I can uh, run the drain line for the turbo. And I'm waiting for the oil feed line and all that to come in. So, man, I'm really excited. Uh, so, I'm going to get, like, a little footage of me cutting that little piece, painting it up, and getting this thing back together. So, hope you all enjoy. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. Peace out. Okay guys, so we got our brackets, we finna paint it. So also guys, we got the oil drain line complete. As you can see, this side is going on a drain pan. All right here, this is a non-weld. We're gonna give this a try right here. Uh, this is a 10 AN uh, fittings and, uh, and all that little good stuff. So can't wait until I put this on. So guys, we got the oil pan cleaner than what it was before, to be honest. Uh, this is the best it's gonna get, even from the inside. That's the best it's just gonna get. So guys, we got our brackets mounted. They are nice and sturdy. This thing ain't going nowhere. No freaking wear. I'm gonna go in and paint these. So guys, I'm riding in the 944, the project car. Man, I went grocery shopping uh, for my mom and me just a little bit. I don't like grocery shopping like that because the food I buy, I let it spoil because I always eat in and all that, which is uh, be so damn crazy. Uh, but anyway, we got some uh, parts ordered from O'Reilly's, which I got to pick up uh, back in a few. Got to drop some stuff back off at the house. I had ordered the oil pan gasket, oil sensor. So we're going to put that together and then I'm going to drill that new one in. Uh, unfortunately, I do got to wait for a uh, clamp from uh, Advance, uh, which sucks, but I get it in the morning, so I'm patient. And it's crazy, like I said, the auto parts store, I need to like, I don't know. I might need to start going all the way to Summit Racing, which is all the way to goddamn uh, McDoug, Georgia, near uh, Atlanta and all that. I might start going there, I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, I get back with y'all. And I'm going to show you all the brackets that I had painted and all that. So let's get to it. So, guys, these are two brackets uh, that I had uh, painted. And they will do. This cooler is nice and sturdy, not going nowhere. Uh, this is very simple. Right, so we picked up the parts, and apparently, as you've seen, I got a flat tire now. So, uh, so guys, we back home, and we finna drill this bad boy out for this bad boy here we finna mark this old pan up on today so let's get to it so guys i had got a new tool kit and every time i get one of these tool kits they never never come back to his place the sockets the wrenches or the ratchet itself but anyway man um in order for me to get this bad boy on which is our own oil, oil, oil drain uh we got a Loosen these bolts back once again. So uh, let's get to that. So we got her in, guys. Very simple, and also put some Loctite on the other side. So guys, on this part, we ran into issues uh, with our fittings uh, not clearing uh, the housing of the turbo. We had to trim it, which you will see on upcoming clips. So guys, it is Sunday morning. I had to get an angle grinder so we could clear. Uh, that turbo uh, oil 
drain line. So as you can see, I got the Bosch and I had got some wheels and all that. So guys, hopefully everything go as planned on today for this Sunday morning. Uh, yeah. So guys, I end up cutting a piece I had to get off the turbo housing. I grinded it down and finished it with a nice smooth finish. Also, I had to do the manifold housing like that that go to the head. But anyway, we get everything straight at this moment. Guys, I'm struggling with this thing. I'm not gonna lie. I had to cut it, fabricate it. Now I'm trying to line it up. what's up guys so right now uh, everything going uh, as planned but everything just taking forever uh due to having to run to the store or spending time with people you know that you love and uh, right now i'm talking down these boats right here um and we got uh part of the cold side done so after we get the headers in and i get this oil pan in and this line right there screwed in we can be Okay, we're gonna be on track. But um the thing that took the foot longest was um that uh turbo with the oil drain line getting in uh place and all. So you might have to do a little fabrication on that if you have to do it this way, but um yeah. Right now I've got the headers right now that just came in. We're gonna put those in, in a bit. And I gotta get that oil pan, so yeah. So guys, we got our gasket on. I'm torquing all these bolts down. Uh, I got to tighten this up just a little bit, but we got everything ran from the train pan all the way to the turbo, which is up top. And we got our both sides of the manifold on. I got to finish wrapping this up. Uh, AutoZone ain't ran out of this stuff right here, which sucks. They never have the right amount of stuff every damn time, but Still love them, but we got to finish wrapping this up. I was going to put the hooker pipe across, but I'm going to wait. Uh, um, I found a good stopping point. Um, but that's pretty much it from under here. Um, and I'm going to just go over top and close it out. So, guys, she is done. Oh, well, she's not done. But we got the turbo tight. We got the drain line. And uh, we got everything clamped up on this side to this intercooler side. Well, from the turbo to the intercooler, we got that all tight and buttoned up. As you can see, I got it nicely routed. Now we just got to get this side right here. And we need to, I got to figure out how I'm going to come out uh, to get to this point right here. Um, I am going to put electric fans right here, so I got to source those. Um, but I'm going to wait for that. Um, but all the piping and stuff is right there. As you can see. And look at all the tools and all that I got. Um, the only thing we have to do now is just get the oil feed on top of here. Um, which we got to wait for the Amazon. And then we got to figure out our exhaust situation. And we probably need to throw in the blow valve. And then have the pipe uh, go from there. We need to hook our hooker pipe on the uh, downside. On the underneath i could have did that but i didn't but um i feel like we're making some uh progress uh, we still got to change the fuel injectors and the fuel pump still got to get gauges still got to get a tuner and all that little stuff but it's gonna come um so i can't wait um that that's it no that is it that is it and this bracket and all that is real sturdy, guys. This is some cheap metal I had around. And, man, it looks good. So, I'm going to be closing her up for the night. I just noticed I got pipe right there, too. And yeah, we're going to take that off. Um, Yeah. Let's, let's try to get this truck running and all. Then we talk about that as parents and stuff we're going to do to it. So, see y'all. Hope you have a good night.